Well, the Russians already attacked Ukraine and annexed uh, Crimea. Uh, and I want to remind you that in 2008, uh, Russian uh, waged the aggressive war against Georgia, occupying 20% of Georgian territory. And let me remind you as well that if uh, the world reaction would have been different in 2008, probably wouldn't have had the Crimea crisis today. But the reality of lives, of course, is uh, what we see today. And the only outcome from here is, of course, not the military action. Only outcome from here is the smart combination, I think, of the uh, financial uh, targeted uh, sanctions together with the military deterrent. Uh, providing the assistance uh, to the, um, the countries in need uh, with economic and military assistance packages and uh, I think and I hope the further escalation can be avoided. It depends largely on the reaction and the unity of uh, cross-Atlantic reaction together with the United States and the Europe. Well I do believe and the, all the evidence suggests that uh, Crimea is not uh, the only thing they are moving forward with in the region. Clearly the objective is to uh, resurrect or put together the uh, influence of Russia in the near abroad as uh, in the neighboring states. And this is why the, the policy only can be challenged by the very smart, effective and rapid reaction from the West, United States and uh, Europe. Uh, I think there is a high chances that uh, there will be more political and other influence uh, and pressure on Ukraine, especially in the east side of the Ukraine. There might be some pressure to uh, put uh, a more autonomy or federal relationship between east and west of Ukraine. This is, of course, going to be a direct meddling into the continuing of meddling in the internal affairs of the sovereign state. And the whole core of uh, the fundamental principle of NATO and European Union to make Europe uh, safe uh, and at peace and secure is threatened by this action. So I think West should act accordingly to this. For us it means that we have to have more engagement with NATO. We have to have more engagement with the European Union. We are very grateful that uh, association agreement with the European Union was brought uh, two months ahead to be signed in June. Uh, this is uh, also uh, another demonstration that the Georgia's efforts to transform, it, transform itself is uh, accepted and validated by the West. We also uh, see uh, Georgia as a contributor to the uh, European security and Euro-Atlantic security by our troops that we are uh, jointly uh, securing Afghanistan and in future we're sending our troops also to Central African Republic together with uh, European-led operations. All of this means more interoperability, all of this means more trained soldiers, more experience sharing with Europe and uh, NATO and Georgia, uh, and more harmonization of the state uh, institutions. This is the way how we can respond uh, to the Russian challenges. The second, of course, is uh, not uh, being pulled in in any provocation with Russia. We are very mindful, very vigilant, not to give any pretext to Russians to attack us politically or otherwise. And the third thing is to beef up our own self-defensive capabilities, that we will have the army that will be uh, able to deter uh, any escalation. Uh, we are building army not of offensive nature because we declared a number of times that the problem of occupation cannot be solved through the military means. Abkhazia and Srinwali region will be integrated to Georgia only through political settlement, political negotiations, but at the same time we need the military deterrent that we are building as a viable, very mobile, light infantry, a special operation capable armed forces.